just a vertical surface. And now I'm going to show you a grid scan for a sloped surface, but in a way that you wouldn't normally think uh, that you could use it, but it works extremely well for it. So, um, we've established two points to this wall that we're working on, which gives us our X and Y plane, which you can kind of see when I uh, look at it from the top down view. And uh, I've done a grid scan, a vertical grid scan on the wall to establish just one plane. Um, now I want to do a sloped grid scan, which will allow me to establish a couple of different planes all at the same time. So I'm going to go to the auto scan button and I'm going to pick not not a linear one but a grid scan and then I'm, instead of selecting horizontal or vertical I'm going to select sloped. Gives us the option of whether or not we want to go slow or fast uh, slow is just going to space things out a little bit more neatly and fast is going to not care so much about the spacing but more to get the data. I'm going to keep the spacing as neat as possible. It gives you a little bit of a help pop-up that tells you what you can do. The cool thing that you can do with the slope scan that you can't do with the horizontal or the vertical scan is you can select more than three points to establish the plane that you want to scan. In the vertical and the horizontal, you establish three of the points of the perimeter, and it will uh, it will establish the fourth point, thinking of it like a rectangle. Um, with the slope scan, you can do as little as three points to establish, or as many as however many you want, and it'll kind of establish that perimeter, and you'll be able to create the slope. I'm going to click OK. Now it's going to ask me to pick the first point. So um, you can kind of see in the 3D Disto camera, uh, I'm going to scan this corner. And I'm going to move the uh, other camera so that you can see where we're scanning as well. Okay, now that that's moved, I'm going to select just three points. And you can see down at the bottom uh, status window, it's telling us that uh, we're selecting the perimeter to the slope scan. So I'm going to select a point on this corner, or kind of, I want to establish the corner of the room here. This is a feature that we just recently discovered that this capability. We didn't think it was possible before and, and uh, we were doing some tests and figured it out. So now that I've established just those three points, uh, I'm going to jump out of the viewfinder and you can see in the corner it's established a triangle. And now I'm going to click the checkbox to say that our perimeter has been established. And I want to select um, a fairly um, a fairly good, you know, dense scan. So I'm going to go with every one inch. And it gives us a little preview of what it's going to look like. Uh, maybe, maybe I'm going to just go to two inch, see what that kind of preview gives us. Ah, that's a pretty good preview. I'm going to click the checkbox and it's going to start the auto scan. So what's nice is that that tri triangle that we established is kind of like a lens that we're looking through. So the scan itself is actually going to capture the corner. And the benefit of capturing this corner is it's capturing three different surfaces at the same time. So we don't have to do an individual, you know, two individual vertical scans and a horizontal scan for the ceiling. We're kind of capturing all three surfaces in the same automatic scan. So for time's sake we're going to fast forward a little bit until the video or until the scan is complete just so you can see what the finished results are.
Looks like the scan is finished and uh, we'll just orbit this around here so you can see what's going on. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you how to export this and look at it in AutoCAD in the next video. So stay tuned for more.